Thank you, John. Um, first, just wondering, I believe the meeting is still ongoing. Do you have any readouts at this point of the big four meeting with the president? I do not have a readout of the meeting that's ongoing. That's just a case. Maybe they slipped you a note. I can, I can convey to you that, um, one, I would expect uh, they will go to the stakeout. I would also expect that uh, we'll have a written readout uh, later this afternoon to provide to all of you. Okay. Setting that aside, two, two other matters then. Um, could the, does the, what, what is the president's response uh, to Congresswoman Cheney's speech last night in which she uh, denounced uh, former President Trump's big lie and said the party, the Republican Party needed to stand for fair and free elections, and then her subsequent ouster this morning from her leadership position? Well, let's start with the facts. Uh, more than 80 judges across the country threw out lawsuits attempting to overturn the outcome of the election. And on January 6th, uh, you know, this moment in history, we're looking at their hearings on Capitol Hill about the events on January 6th. Our nation's capital was attacked, our democracy was attacked, and six people lost their lives. So it's disturbing to see any leader, regardless of party, being attacked for simply speaking the truth. And as the president said last week, uh, it's hard to understand. Uh, but our belief, his belief, is that the American people will have to make their own decisions about whether the reaction by the people they elected to represent them should be embracing and elevating conspiracies and attacks on our democracy, or whether it should be standing up for ideals that have historically been owned by both Democrats and Republicans representing the country throughout history. And one other matter, the escalating situation uh, in Israel